everybody welcome to engineering academy and in this video i'll be talking about the reinforcement of the column at site okay so you'll learn how the reinforcement of the column is actually arranged at the site all right so this is the column layout plan as you can see over here and uh, this is the footing plan so what you do that after you uh, level the ground and you made the excavations you place the footings and on the footings you got the columns like this all right okay so you can see uh, the different kind of columns here and they are uh, marked with different uh, names right so you can see c1 c4 c2 c2 so it means that uh, each column will have a different kind of con configuration in the reinforcement okay so c1 will have different kind of reinforcement c4 will have different kinds of reinforcement and, and c2 will have different kind of reinforcement right so if we see uh, this column over here it's written c3 and it's the 350 by 400 column uh, now that we want to know how the reinforcement of this column is arranged okay so for that you have to go to the column detail okay so here it's your column detail so uh, let me tell you that uh, so this is the plan of the swimming pool and it's only a single story so due to which you don't have much column detail over here right so if you have got a multi-story building like a four five six seven eight nine story so you'll have the detail of uh, each column on each story separately right so not like this okay so we'll see that in the later videos when i'll make a video on how to read the structural drawings of the columns right so i'll provide the information on how to read the structural drawings in detail okay so for right now uh, i'll just give you an info uh, of the drawing and uh, the reinforcement at the side as well okay uh, so, okay so if we see this column so it's the 350 by 400 column as we saw earlier and you can see that we got uh, four number of bars 20 mm two over here and two over here at the corners and rest of the bars that is eight in numbers 16 mm of bars right okay so uh, so you can clearly see here 16 mm of bars inside and 20 mm of bars at the corners so you will always place the bigger bars at the corners and smaller bars at the sides or at the mid portion right and you can see the ring so here it goes the ring right and you see it's written as c over here now you have to go and see the steer up detail right so it's a b and this is your uh, c steer up it's not written over here so you so they just missed it okay so uh, suppose that uh, all right so i'll show you here so it's written b over here right so how you see b so you can see it's a b so it's b is a four legged stirrup and it is of 8 mm diameter and you have to place the stirrups at 4 inches in the x zone and 6 inches in the y zone so what is x and y zone so uh, here it's specified the x zone and y zone and uh, if you want to see in detail you know what is x zone and what is y zone please uh, watch the video that is provided in the description below so that will uh, so i have explained this thing in detail over there and if i again uh, explain it that will make the video longer so i don't want to go there okay all right so uh, so this is basically the arrangement of the stirrup so what do you do you have to, you have to place the uh, stirrup at four inches at the lower and at the upper portion near the beams and at the be at the middle portion you have to place the stirrups at the six inches that is at the father okay so this is the rectangular column now we'll see the uh, circular column okay uh, the drawing right so this is the plan of the column you can see all the footings are marked as f1 and all the columns are marked as c1 so it means that all the columns are of same size and the reinforcement arrangement for all the columns is also same so this is basically a drawing of a ramp that you can see over here so this is a ramp all right now we'll see the configuration of the reinforcement and if we see column c1 so it's a 400 mm diameter and it's a circular column and you can see that all the bars are of 16 mm and the bars are 18 numbers right and the stirrup is marked as a and if we see it's a four legged 8 five at the x zone and four legged 8 five that's 8 mm diameter at uh, six inches at the y zone so 100 mm means four inches and 150 mm means six inches right and you know what the x and y zone is okay so you have to get, watch that video first right okay all right so this is how the reinforcement of the column is arranged for the circular and for the uh, rectangular columns this is how the reinforcement is arranged and now we'll see how these reinforcements are actually placed at this side all right all right guys so this is the column that we talked about earlier in the drawing and if we see the closer view of this column we'll see something like this 
right so you can see we have got 20 mm diameter bars that are placed at the corners one bar at each corner so they are four in numbers and the rest of the bars are 16 mm diameter right so we got uh, eight in numbers that are 16 mm in diameter okay and this is how the stirrups are tied together so you can see a group of stirrups right so uh, the rule for placing the stirrup is that each bar should be at the corner of a uh, stirrup all right so you can see here so we have you know followed that rule right so this is how the uh, column looks like when it is uh, when the four marks are placed and it is made ready for the concreting and uh, if we see the closer view of this and we'll see uh, something like this right so the ply boards are placed from the four sides and they are placed in position using these pipes <music> so this is the circular column right so you can see uh, it is circular in shape although obviously the circular column will be circular in shape uh, you can see that we got a uh, 16 mm diameter bar so they are 18 numbers and they are placed in circle and uh, we got a circular stirrup or you can say the circular ring as well and that is placed uh, along the column and using you know uh, in the x zone we got like in four inches and y zone we got uh, the ring at the six inches right so this is the closer view of the column and you can see how the reinforcements are placed in a circle right so this is how the circular column looks like Alright guys, so uh, this was for this video. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and take care.